Now, you may have seen her illustrations and comics on her blog or shared on Facebook, and we have the pleasure to welcome Maya Zankul in our studios. Maya is a 26-year-old Lebanese illustrator and designer. Her comics have been published in two books, which reached the top five sales in Lebanon. I have one of them here. Both were translated to Italian and published by publishing house Il Sidente. Welcome, Maya. Hi. So I want to start with, how did this all start for you? Uh, it started about two years ago. Uh, I had just graduated from university and I had a full-time job, which wasn't very satisfying for me. And I was uh, really bored at my job. So I started doing those comics and drawing, which is what I really love doing. And I started sharing them on Facebook, on my blog. And this is how it all started. It's, uh, people started sharing them, and uh, the, the readership of the blog started growing. And then they became books. And well, the, how, but how did it happen? Because, and I, I was talking to you about this earlier, a lot of artists in Lebanon have a hard time getting noticed or even getting their, their stuff published. But yet, here you are living the dream, and, 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 and you're doing it. Yeah, it happened very, very naturally. Uh, I was just doing something I love and uh, people started following it and uh, it's really when you share it with people and they like it and they start sharing it this is how it happened now my books are self-published so I had to publish them myself I really believe if you want something done you have to do it yourself I showed the book to many publishing houses and they thought it wouldn't sell or maybe people wouldn't be interested in it but I already knew that people wanted the book from my blog from the feedback I got on Facebook so I learned how to publish a book, and uh, I published my first book, which was really successful, and one year later, my second book. You, and it, it, congratulations to you. Thank you. But most importantly, we were talking about this, you grew up in Jeddah, in Saudi Arabia, and you moved back here in 2005, when Lebanon was experiencing a series of crises with assassinations, etc. And then the years that followed after that, Lebanon is, was going and still is going through a lot of turmoil. And in your comics, you tend to be very critical of the Lebanese situation. So what inspires you other than daily events that are happening in the country? Uh, mostly it's, it's daily events and things that bother me, things that I feel should be better or could be better. This is what I like to, to draw about. Mainly it's a way to release the frustration with, with things that I'm unhappy with. You know, I moved here in the worst possible year, which was, uh, had very bad, terrible events happen to Lebanon. So I had to find a way to deal with this. And this is how I dealt with it. This is my inspiration. You tend to criticize politicians and the internet and electricity. Do you get criticized yourself for these drawings? Uh, not much. Maybe people who comment uh, agree with the drawings or they feel that it represents them. They identify with the, with the things I'm drawing. So mainly I'm putting my character, myself, in situations that other Lebanese go through. So somehow they see themselves in the drawings and, and uh, they, they like them. I think it's a, it's a great way to be light about a very not so light subject. And it shows you that Lebanese actually have a very big sense of humor, right? It's true, it's the only alternate option we have to laugh at the situation because yeah. all other doors are closed. That's, well, that is funny. I actually have one that I wanna share with the audience right now. If they could just play the picture for us. Look at this one, Lebanese summer. When I listen to the news, someone take me far, far away from here. And when I don't listen to the news, I'm the happiest person in the world with an ice cream. So when did you write this one? And it thank you that because I actually tell the news and that's my job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. That was done a few weeks ago uh, when there were a few shootings happening and I started feeling depressed because I was listening to the news and the news were following me on Twitter and on Facebook, people sharing what's happening. So the next day there was just nothing. I went to work, I stopped listening to the news and everything was back to normal. So Lebanon is really a lovely place to live in if you don't get uh, involved in, in a political situation and it's possible that's what you're saying and it's you're possible living to it. live without it yeah this is my recipe for happiness in Lebanon and to just be away from the news yeah exactly okay, there goes my job <laughs> and then just kind of focus on a lot of good things that Lebanon has because to offer because it does have a lot of good things like exactly. such as share that because you are a young artist so what is your message to young artists and younger artists like you who are trying to reach a dream to do what they love because as long as you're doing something you love I think you can, you can succeed. That's the, the secret. And what is next for Maya Zankul? Uh, I want to continue doing those, uh, those comics and maybe have them move and turn them into animation. I hope so. Pixar style? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe pick Who knows? Pixar styles. And do you, write, do you draw these on a monthly basis or how does it, how does it work for uh, you? Usually it's on a weekly basis. 
it's not really organized. Whenever there's a topic that moves me, I just draw about it and I share it. And, that, and then it's shared across the, the social, the social media. Yeah. So one last thing I want to end on is we were talking about this. Lebanon can be a little tough for people to make it. But with social media today, you say, and you've called it, the land of opportunities, which a lot of people think it's not. So what can you tell me about the fact that it's been the land of opportunities for you? It's been pretty easy for me. Uh, there are a lot of challenges, it's true, but thanks to social media and to the Lebanese spirit, which is uh, we share something, uh, people start sharing it, people understand each other. There's a lot of uh, empathy in the Lebanese people. So as long as you're doing something that you enjoy doing, people will enjoy it with you. And this is how you, ca you can succeed with your work. You also opened your own company. True, it's uh, a year ago. Uh, I quit my job, which I didn't like. And I started doing what I love. Uh, my parents were shocked at first. They thought, how can you quit your job? It's security and it's all that. And I've been doing it for a year and it's getting better and better. Are your parents supporting you right now? Yeah, of course, they always uh, they're support me. They're probably really proud to see you there and making your dream. Actually, Thank being you. a very inspirational figure, I think, to a lot of people out there and a lot of women out there and a lot of artists trying to make it in the country. Thanks so you. thank you for being with us today.